This is the morning weather briefing. This is for Monday, the 4th of March. We forgot the date here. This is James Spann, Alabama's weather looking a little unsettled this week. We think the most widespread rain will be tomorrow and then again on Friday into Saturday. And certainly a chance of some heavy rain along the way. So let's take a look at the situation early this morning. And we have a trough developing over the western states. And uh, the winds aloft here relatively light. And uh, But moisture is increasing. We still see nothing on radar this morning. There could be a few spotty showers around later today, but I think a decent chunk of this day will be dry and mild. Starting off the day, mostly in the upper 50s and low 60s for the northern half of the state. Birmingham at 61 early this morning. Huntsville 57, Montgomery 59. Low to mid-60s down across South Alabama. We do note there is a dense fog advisory for about the southern third of the state this morning. The county's in gray on that map. This is for areas south of a line from near Butler to Camden, Greenville, and Ozark. And that fog should dissipate by mid-morning. Elsewhere around the country, things pretty quiet. Still some winter weather issues back in the western states. So west of Alabama today, we have a marginal risk of severe storms. This is level one out of level five from Texas and Louisiana north to near Chicago, Milwaukee. Uh, and again, there could be a few showers. Could there be a rumble of thunder? Yes, here, but certainly no chance of any severe storms. Tomorrow, again, we have a marginal risk west of Alabama, Arkansas, Louisiana, and some of the adjacent states. We do expect a fairly widespread rain event here tomorrow and tomorrow night. But again, severe storms not expected. This is day three, which is Wednesday. Got a marginal risk over the Florida Peninsula. Let's keep going. This is day four, which is Thursday. A risk of severe storms defined for parts of North Texas, North Louisiana, Southwest Mississippi. And then on day five, which is Friday, we have a risk of severe storms defined from East Texas into South Alabama. And this risk on Friday is for areas south of a line from near Utah, to Wetumpka, to Opelika, the areas in yellow on that map. And keep in mind, this is valid Friday night into the pre-dawn hours on Saturday. A little iffy on the severe weather possibilities. The more confident hazard here would be heavy rain and maybe some flooding uh, Friday into Saturday. We'll take a look at the modeling on this in just a second. Now, here's a look at rain for the next seven days, and needless to say, a lot. And remember, we're now into March. March and April, uh, the wettest times of the year here in the state. Uh, this is valid through Monday morning of next week. The rain amounts uh, potentially in the 3 to 5 inch range for the areas in yellow on that map, about the northern half of the state. South Alabama, the amounts between 2 and 4 inches. And again, we think the most widespread rain will be tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. But there could be showers on the other days this week. So let's take it day by day. Model fans. This is the GFS. This is the 06Z run, valid today at 4. And again, we've got a ridge on the east coast, a trough developing in the western states. The better winds aloft are west of Alabama, but with moisture levels increasing, we're expecting a few isolated or widely scattered showers around today. Here's the high-resolution HER, valid this evening at 5 o'clock. And you can see just not much out there in Alabama. Spotty showers, yes. Widespread rain, no. Highs up in the 70s today, very mild. The organized batch of showers and storms to the southwest over Louisiana. So tomorrow, the first little short wave comes in aloft, and that should bring a fairly good rain event to the state. Not going to rain all day, but rain likely at times, maybe some thunder. We don't expect any severe storms. And we'll probably be in the 60s most of the day because of clouds and rain. And then Wednesday, that wave is on by with a surface low forming over North Carolina. In the wake of that, the, the moisture pool will stay in place, but there's no dynamic support for showers. So we'll mention a small chance of any one spot getting a shower Wednesday. Very mild, highs in the 70s, and maybe some sun. This is Thursday. Same thing, scattered showers around uh, for the northern half of the state. This will not be a washout, not going to rain all day, but a couple of passing showers are possible. Very mild, highs up in the 70s. And then Friday, the main trough lifts out. And uh, this will be a situation where there's a surface low east of Des Moines, a secondary surface low that's northwest, northeast of Houston. And obviously, we're going to see a lot of rain here. Now, from the surface low near Houston, there should be a warm front positioned over the Gulf Coast or South Alabama. And the question is, how far north can the warm front push? 
And if we see a lot of rain like that, it typically doesn't push that far north. And if that's the situation, this would not be a severe weather day. This would be just a heavy rain day. Uh, but we do know that there is a pretty good surge of instability coming in here. This is March, okay? So we can see that easily in advance of storm systems this time of the year. So at the moment, Friday looks like a day with rain and thunderstorms. Uh, we'll watch the warm front, see if that can push north, but certainly a chance of heavy rain at times. And understand the rain will probably linger into Saturday uh, for much of the state as the surface front will be just slow and creeping in here. And that's one concern about the heavy rain potential. So, again, the bottom line is rain and thunderstorms Friday, Saturday. Rain could be heavy at times. There could be some flooding issues. The severe weather probability is kind of conditional. Uh, we'll just have to see how the warm front uh, behaves. But, again, for now, SPC on Friday has that risk defined for the southern half of the state. But, again, that's Saturday. So, if you got something planned outdoors on Saturday, it looks kind of wet. You might get away with uh, uh, some dry weather for the Tennessee Valley. And clearly, Sunday is your better day of the weekend. This is Sunday. The weather should be dry, cooler. The highs dropping into the upper 50s and low to mid 60s, which is below average for March. But the day should be sunny. And a week from today, Monday, March 11th, a zonal flow, and we are still in a dry air mass. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, a ridge developing here and at this point the weather looks dry so after a wet stormy unsettled week this week next week for now looking mostly rain free we'll check rain for birmingham coming off the european ensemble this is the uh, outlook between now and the 18th of march the mean a little under four inches and a lot of that's going to be over the next seven days here's a look at the uh, temperature forecast for birmingham off the nbm national blend of models your number could vary. 75 today, upper 60s tomorrow, and then back in the 70s for uh, Wednesday, Thursday. We note that pretty decent cool down coming up on uh, Sunday, the high dropping to 60. That should get us in the upper 30s Monday of next week, but at the moment we don't see any major late season freeze over the next 7 to 10 days. Again, I fully expect another one, one or more. Uh, we typically always have those in late March and early April. Uh, and again, for those looking to plant something harmed by a freeze, you know my advice every year, wait until when? April 15th, tax day. Temperatures uh, in the 8 to 14 day outlook here, this is for March 11th through March the 17th. Temperatures near average for most of the state if this works out. So we're about a month away from the uh, solar eclipse, total eclipse of the sun. And again, that is the path of totality across the United States. This will be early afternoon on the 8th of April. Uh, Texas, Arkansas, coming up through parts of Illinois, Indiana, into the northern part of New England. In uh, Alabama, uh, the, for those of you in the northwestern part of the state, the Shoals, Hamilton, Moulton, Decatur, Huntsville, uh, understand we're not in the path of totality, but still the sun's going to be blocked 90 to 99 percent. It'll be a pretty good show. And then for the rest of the state, uh, 80 to 90 percent of the sun will be blocked. And the peak will come around 2 o'clock that day. And again, this is April the 8th. We're about a month away from that. Of course, we have no earthly idea if the sky will be cloudy, if it's going to rain, if it's gonna, the sun, you know, the sky will be blocked. But just we'll know in about the 10 days before that. Pretty good looking sunset last night across Alabama. Love this time of the year. That's our smiling baby, Harlow. Got a chance to uh, meet her back in uh, Blunt County at a book signing one day. That's, that's outstanding. The world needs to smile more, you know. Love that drone shot. I think that was up over the uh, Tennessee uh, Valley, up around Gunnersville last night. But just uh, really, really a nice evening after the uh, low clouds and fog yesterday morning. So busy week coming up this week. Today I know that I will be in uh, Trussville at uh, Payne Elementary School this morning. Trace Crossings Elementary in Hoover this afternoon. Tomorrow will be up in the Tennessee Valley. Got Madison Elementary tomorrow morning. And then Mountain Brook, Cherokee Bend Elementary. Uh, Birmingham on Wednesday, I-3 Academy. And then Children's of Alabama after that. A couple of programs. Be at the Kimberly Church of God Wednesday evening between the 6 and the 10 o'clock news. Thursday, Lauderdale County, Waterloo High School. 
Friday, Cottondale Elementary in Tuscaloosa County. And then I'll be in Starkville, Stark Vegas on uh, Saturday. This is a man church event that'll be uh, on the campus of Mississippi State. And uh, we'll put up all the uh, details on the uh, social platforms uh, as we get closer to that. Uh, no book signing Saturday. And then uh, don't forget this evening, it's Weather Brains. Hey, weather dweebs, geeks, nerds, dorks, weenies. Uh, 7 o'clock Central Time on the uh, Weather Brains YouTube channel, youtube.com slash weatherbrains. And the audio version will be out early tomorrow morning. And, of course, if you can, watch us this evening on television on the TV side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great Monday, and God bless.